Hello and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are taking a look at the new Shutter Card Holiday Saying stamp set. This stamp set has some holiday sentiments that fit perfectly inside the Shutter Card opening. And we're also taking a look at the new Shutter Card Snow Globe add-on die. So this die cuts the pieces to make the opening inside a Shutter Card into a cute little snow globe. So for my first card I'm making today, I'm going to be remaking a card designed by Elise. So I'm going to be cutting all my pieces of my shutter card from some sage cardstock. So I'm pulling out the shutter card base die. I'm also going to use the add-on with the stitching details. And then I'm going to cut two of those little banner shaped pieces for the inside. So you can see I've got all my pieces cut from that sage cardstock and I'm actually going to start by stamping my sentiment. So I'm using that circle that was cut out of the opening and I've just taped it on the back to hold it in place. And I'm going to use my Misty tool to line up the sentiment that's going to go on this. And this way I can heat emboss it on the circle and not have to add heat to my entire card base because sometimes the heat can warp the cardstock a little bit. And if it's a smaller piece, that doesn't happen quite as much. So this was my way of making sure everything stayed nice and clean. So I'm just lining up the sentiment as well as those little detail pieces that come in the set that you can put above and below the sentiment to kind of fill a circle like we're doing here. And I'm going to be heat embossing this sentiment like I said before. So I'm going to add some of that anti-static powder to that circle. And then I'm going to be stamping this in some clear embossing ink. And I'm going to be using some silver embossing powder. So I just got that ready to the side there. And I'm actually going to stamp this twice just to make sure I have some nice coverage with that ink. And then I'm just going to cover that with my silver embossing powder. I don't need that panel anymore so I can actually use that piece of tape to kind of hold it. Or you could use some tweezers. And I'm going to add that silver embossing powder to it. And then now I can just heat it up with my heat tool till it's all melted and nice and shiny. So you can see there it starts to melt and we get that really cool metallic silver sentiment that just catches the light. So now to work on the decoration of my card base and the rest of my card. There are no stamped images on this card. It is all done with the stencil and some ink, which I just think has this really lovely look. So I'm using some Yeti ink and the Snowflake Trio stencil to add white pigment ink to my cardstock. And you can see I started with my little blending brush there, but I decided that the foam was going to work a little bit better to put this pigment ink down. So I'm just sort of pouncing it into that snowflake shape. I'm doing my decorative panel for the inside first. And then I'm going to use the brush to kind of push that ink around a little bit. So I found that applying the ink was a lot faster using the foam. And then you can kind of spread it out a little bit with the brush just with a very light hand. So you can see how you get that really cool look of that white pigment ink on that sage cardstock. I really love how that looks. So I'm just going to use a different snowflake. I'm going to move my tape up here. So it'll kind of hold it in place so it doesn't shift around while I'm doing this. And I'm going to add that other small snowflake to the other corner at the top. So I'm going to use the same method of pouncing on some of that pigment ink with the foam and then I'll just spread it around with the brush to give that nice even white look. So you can see how you, it looks a lot different but it takes a lot longer to pick up the ink with the brush than it does with the foam. So I found this made pretty quick work of the stenciling. So I'm going to do the same method on the card base so that you see these on both sides when it's open. And I'm using my 
art station, it's underneath this piece of paper and those magnets are holding it down. So I decided to do that instead of the tape. It just made it easier to move it around and not be quite as messy. There is still a piece of tape there on that one. But you can see that metal plate, that metal um, mat is what it is, is underneath it underneath that white piece of paper and those magnets just stick right to it and it holds it in place really well. So again, I'm just pouncing that ink on there and then I'll just blend it and make it nice and even with my blending brush. So I'm only doing the two sides here because the center is going to get covered up with the panel that I've already decorated. And then to add some splatters to this, I don't actually have any silver metallic watercolor. So I decided to use some of the Brush Pewter Distress Stain. And I just poured a little bit out into this little dish here. And I'm going to add a little bit of water and make my own silver metallic watercolor for my splatters. And the reason why I decided to add this to my card is because I felt like it really tied in well with the silver sentiment that we embossed in the middle. So it gives it some shimmer. In places other than the sentiment it's kind of hard to see there because I did really small splatters so I'm going to do the same thing and add those splatters to the card base where I added my snowflakes before I got it a little too watered down so that's why I added a little bit more of the stain but I'm just going to add splatters to both sides where I put those snowflakes on the card base. So it's going to flank the piece that I just did, which will go down the center. So I'll just set that aside to dry a little bit. And then once it's dry, I'm going to do the outside. So I'm just put a piece of typing paper here just to protect it as I fold these pieces in from any of that pigment ink that might not quite be dry yet so that I don't transfer any of that to my inside panel. So I'm just gently folding these over, trying to be really careful since I've already done all this work to it. I'm gonna put that piece of typing paper in there to protect it. And then I'm gonna tape these two closed. And that way I can stencil my snowflakes on the front and it can look continuous across the front. Now you can see I got a little bit of an ink smudge, so I'm just going to conveniently place my snowflake where I'm gonna cover that up with the ink. And you can see it actually went off the side of my stencil a little bit, which is something you need to be careful about um, right there above the snowflake. But a wet chamois actually wiped that pigment ink off perfectly before it dried. So no worries there. Using the pigment ink worked in my favor on this one. So I'm adding all three snowflakes to the front of this card. And I'm going to overlap them a little bit to create a nice composition. And then now that all three of these are on there, I'm gonna do the same to the outside and add those silver flecks of the Distress Stain. So I still have it in my little dish. I just set it to the side because I knew I would be using some more of it. And if I can get my tape to stay down, I'm just gonna add those flecks of silver to the front as well so that everything matches inside and out. I think this is a really fun way to decorate the front of this card without using the panels of the shutter card. So now I'm gonna cut out some snowflakes using some of the new holographic paper. I'm actually gonna use the solid one, but you can see there's lots of different patterns in there. But since these snowflakes are so delicate, I thought the solid one would just work perfectly. I'm cutting out the big snowflake that's part of the snow globe add-on for the shutter card. And I'm also cutting out some of the small snowflakes that are part of the magic iris snow globe add-on. So that's where all these snowflakes are coming from. I use the circle that's part of the shutter card die to cut a circle from some speckled eggshell cardstock. And then this large snowflake, which I said was from the 
shutter card snow globe add-on. It's going to fit perfectly in this circle and that's going to be the part that goes on the band that goes around the card when it's closed. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue that down with a couple dots of glue and then I'm going to set a block on it and set it aside so it can just dry nice and flat. And then I'm going to work on assembling the rest of my shutter card. So I'm just going to fold in the tabs at the top and the bottom. And then I'm also going to grab those shutter pieces and I'm going to fold their tabs as well. And then now I can add some double sided adhesive tape to all those tabs. So now that I have that adhesive tape on all those pieces, what I'm going to do is put on this front panel just at the top. So I'm using it at the bottom to line it up, but I only pulled off the liner paper on the top one. So it's going to be kind of like a hinge door. And this is going to show me exactly where to put my sentiment. So I'm just going to add some liquid glue to that sentiment that I heat embossed earlier and drop it right in that circle and now it's going to be lined up perfectly where it needs to be. So now before I put the other side of the panel down I'm going to put my shutter pieces. So I'm going to use the little marks that the die creates to line up those shutter pieces and then I'm just going to close the side on it so that it's lined up perfectly so that it will close. So they're kind of hard to see especially on this cardstock where I've done some stenciling but you just want to use those as a guide and then they line up perfectly. And now I can pull off the liner paper from that bottom tab and close my panel to where it's all lined up. So now that it's all assembled, I can add in the snowflakes that I cut earlier. So I'm adding one of those large ones below the sentiment because I kind of have some more space that I can fill. And then I'll just sprinkle around the larger ones, just varying them in size. I really like the look of these holographic die cut snowflakes with those stenciled white snowflakes. I just think it has a really elegant look to it. And I really love this design that Elise came up with. You do want to make sure that those snowflakes are not on that fold. So you can see I moved them. I had them laying on that fold, but that doesn't really work because they're going to need to fold in half. And this paper is too pretty and shiny to fold in half like that. It just would be a very obvious um, fold. So just make sure that they are not crossing over the pieces or where the card folds. So now I'm going to work on that band that goes around the front. So I've cut this out of some rainforest cardstock just for a different green color to contrast with the card base. And of course you're going to cut two and then I'm putting a piece of that double sided adhesive on the small side where you can see there's a little score line. It's actually kind of hard to see. And then I'm going to fold it on the score line that's in the middle. So I'm going to do the same to both pieces, folding it in the middle and then the other score lines just a guide to show how to line the two pieces up. So I'm going to pull that liner tape off one of them and I'm going to adhere the two pieces together using that score line as my guide as to where to put this. And I'm also using my grid mat to make sure that I have it nice and straight. And then when it folds in, it's just going to stick to a stealth and make a nice belly band to go around our card. And then of course that snowflake that I glued to that circle earlier, it's going to go right in the center and cover up that joint between the two pieces of cardstock perfectly. So here is my finished card. I can slide that band off that has that beautiful snowflake, open it up, 
to see that beautiful silver embossed sentiment inside and I love how those holographic snowflakes really catch the light. I just think it is so pretty. So next I'm going to make a card using the Shutter Card Snow Globe add-on. So this is going to go on the inside of the card and we're going to make a snow globe inside. So we're going to start with cutting our card base just like normal and today I'm remaking a card designed by Rebecca and I'm going to be cutting my card base from some pattern paper and this way we have a pattern on the inside and a pattern on the outside as well. So we get those cute little mittens on the outside when you fold it on that score line and then we're going to have that kind of snowy background on the inside of our card. So I'm just going ahead and folding in the two sides along the score lines that the die creates and also the top and bottom tabs. Then for my shutter pieces, I'm using some Let It Shine paper. This is that kind of dark teal with the little white dots. I've cut two of those and I'm folding those along the score lines for that little tab. You can see the center there, I've got a piece cut from some Let It Shine cardstock as well. And I'm going to go ahead and put my double sided adhesive on all these little tabs that I've created. So I'm going to put the adhesive on the two tabs of the shutter pieces and then I'm also going to fold those in and put it on the two tabs on the card base as well. So I've colored this cute little scene from the snow globe scene stamps and I'm going to use the coordinating die to cut it out. These little scenes fit perfectly inside a shutter card and look so cute inside this snow globe add-on for the shutter card. But before I add this to my card, I wanna add some glitter and some shimmer. So I'm just using my glue pen. I'm adding a little bit of glue to the snow that's on the tops of those trees and also the snow on top of the little house. And then I'm just adding some Prisma glitter to that for that really eye-catching shine. That's just so cute. I'm also going to go ahead and add the sentiment to the circle that's going to go in the front. So these fit inside the shutter card opening and obviously because the circle that we like to use on the front is the same size, they're going to fit on the front as well. So you can have your sentiment hiding inside the shutter card or you could have it on the front and then when you open it up you get something else surprise inside. So on this one I'm going to have my sentiment on the front that says have a sweet holiday. And then on the inside you'll get that cute little snow globe. So now to assemble some of my card, I'm going to pull off the liner paper for those shutter pieces. I'm going to line it up with the markings that the die creates and I'm going to fold that front closed and pick it up. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to line it up, excuse my head. It was kind of hard to see on this pattern paper. <laughs> And I like to make sure that it's lined up with the shutter on the other side. I'm going to fold that close and pick it up. So now my two shutters are in place where they need to be. So now I'm going to put together the snow globe that goes on the panel before I put the panel in the card. So this die cuts the frame for the snow globe. It also cuts the base and then it cuts some detail piece for the bottom of the base. And then in my case, I used those little snowflakes that cut um, a design into the base. I left those in there and I cut those snowflakes in there. You could also use the sentiments that are in the snow globe scene set. And I think those would fit on there just perfectly as well. So I'm adding that little detail piece to the bottom. And then my base is cut from some brown wood grain cardstock. So it has that nice wood grain detail texture as well. And this fits right along the bottom of the frame of the snow globe.
So now that I have that all assembled, I can put my panel inside of my card. So I'm just gonna pull off the liner tape from the top tab and line it up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and glue in my scene before I close it up with those shutters. So that way I just have the circle to work with. I can line it up perfectly with the circle. I'm gonna pull that panel up, fold in my shutter pieces, and then I can pull off the liner paper from the bottom tab and just close it down and glue the rest of that panel in. So now I can add some decorative panels to the outside of my card, and I've used that same striped card stock for each of these, and I'm just gonna layer them onto each side that opens. And then for the band that goes around it, I've got the red with the gold dot that I'm gonna use. So I'm just gonna take some of that double-sided tape put it on the little tabs on each of these. They're not really tabs because you're not gonna fold them. You just use the score line as a guide. You're gonna fold them in the middle. And then you can pull off the liner paper and use that score line as a guide to line up the second piece. And then you can just fold them at those folds, fold them in and make a band that wraps around and then our little sentiment is going to cover up that joint between the two papers. But before I glue that down I added some red coloring to those little detail stamps so that it pulls in with all the red, bright red colors in this card. So this will fit right over our card and hold it closed until the recipient gets it. And then they can just slide it off and we have that cute little snow scene inside. I just love it, it's just so cute. Now let's take a look at some examples from the design team. Elena's card is super sweet. I love all those light colors with that dark night sky inside the snow globe with that sleepy little bear. Tammy used the snow globe add-on on a card front instead of a shutter card, and I love all her gingerbread men decorating the bottom around that gingerbread scene inside the snow globe. Megan also used the gingerbread scene, and here you can see it on the front of her shutter card on that band, and then you open it up to this sweet gingerbread scene inside, and I love that snow globe in the middle. It just fits so perfectly. Lynette used the snow globe add-on to add that little car from the snow globe scenes and I love how she added all those snowflakes around to decorate. I really love Kara's use of the snowflake border on the front of her card where she split it where it opens and then that cute little fox inside and she stamped her sentiment on the snow globe base which I just think is super clever. Here's Elise's card that inspired the card I made today. You can see those lovely snowflakes and she added little white dots around. I just think this is a super elegant card and I just love the way it looks. And then here's Rebecca's card that inspired the other card I made today. This has a very different look with all that pattern paper and I just love that red and white candy stripe. Audrey's card is so sweet. She used one of the little snowmen from Ready, Set, Snow, and I love the background that she created with the snowflake stencils. Yainea created this beautiful galaxy-inspired card, and I love the way that she glued the fox in the foreground so that it wasn't covered up by the shutter pieces. I think that's super clever. Thanks so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Bye!